So it's heavy in the pre-rut and Ryan wants to go in and give this buck he calls the telephone pole buck a try. We're gonna head into a pre-rut stand that's deep in his core area, one of his best stands, and see if he can rattle and communicate with this buck and, uh, and, and get him to come to the stand. Uh, this is an amazing seven and a half year old buck, just a giant 300 pound animal. So Ryan does his first rattling sequence and here comes this buck, fog coming out of his nose, really something. This is a beautiful four and a half year old buck, passes by right behind us, gives Ryan a shot, but I mean, he has got telephone pole buck absolutely on his mind. Ryan spots a buck out in the middle of the warm season grass and the buck just whips around, starts running towards us and sure enough it's telephone pole buck from 50 yards away just running straight at us. closes all the way in and stops, comes to a stop at 12 yards. I, I know this is the buck Ryan is just dying to put an arrow in. We realize all of a sudden he's starting to make a standing scrape. He's just come to a stop there to try and figure out where is this fight I just heard. And we're froze and he's froze and you know, who's gonna crack first and trying to figure out what's gonna happen. Just incredibly, incredibly tense moment. One of the moments you live for as a whitetail hunter. So he's froze, locked up at 12 yards. Ryan doesn't have a shot at him. He's facing straight at us and he's looking, he's looking at the tree, but he's not looking at us. He's not looking up at us. He's just looking at the tree. So you see him rotate and start to, to circle around us and go downwind to try and figure out, is there somebody here? Is there something dangerous here? And he does a circle into the timber and shows himself just on the other side. So telephone pole is trying to circle us now slowly and get around downwind of us and see if he can figure out if there's anything dangerous here. Um, moving through heavy cover, he gave a couple of times, gave a shot that you know you, you maybe would think about taking, but not an ethical shot. A lot of twigs and brush and just stuff in the way. And this is a deer that Ryan's known since he was three and a half years old. Not gonna take a risk on, you know, he wants to know for sure. If he puts an arrow in this deer, it's gonna kill him. So now telephone pole has made it all the way around behind us. He's straight downwind of us. You alert a buck, a seven and a half year old buck like this, to the fact that he's being hunted and he becomes nocturnal almost instantly. So we're just freaking out. And he's searching around trying to figure out where is this going on? You know, why am I not seeing this? Why am I not smelling it? Uh, why can't, what is happening in my core area? Ryan decides he's gonna hit him with the extinguisher and see if he can bring him back. <laughs> And he hits an immature buck gun on the extinguisher and telephone pole just slowly turns around and starts heading right back at us. And again, passed right downwind of us at about 40 yards. Um, no real ethical shot there. And uh, I, I, nothing but kudos to Ryan for not shooting. But what an incredible, incredible experience. I took the black rack, cracked them together, and he come in on a charge. Come in at 12 yards, just didn't give me a good shot. He turned, circled us, tried to get us downwind. He never really picked us up. Almost grounded him back in with the extinguisher. He come back to 40, and I'm not comfortable with that, that shot distance. Whew. So I think three real keys to having this really amazing encounter with Telephone Pole was uh, number one, understanding his core area and where he really was spending a lot, amount of, uh, a lot of his time and, and how he might cover ground between um, some of these bedding areas. Um, number two would be scent free, uh, you know, paying extreme attention to um, using phase and, and incorporating it into our, our entire setup so that we feel like we've got, you know, scent free elimination on everything. And then number three would be the black racks calling at the right time, using those black racks to affect his movement and take him from 200 yards away straight to the base of the tree at 12 yards.
You know, because Ryan didn't actually harvest this deer, a lot of people might think it wasn't a successful hunt, but this absolutely was a successful hunt. When you're going after pursuing a seven and a half year old buck, any minor thing when it comes to bumping that deer or letting him know you're there, it's over. He'll vacate that area or he'll go completely nocturnal. But what happened is this deer not only came in and went downwind, he didn't detect them. So scent control was so key to keeping this deer around that area to give him another chance at it. And there's no question that the phase body odor system did not allow that deer to pick up on the human body odor of both Ryan and his cameraman. And in my opinion, that's what makes this hunt so successful because Ryan now has another shot at the telephone pole buck. The makers of the number one deer calling system of all time have done it again. Introducing the new Phase Body Odor System by Illusion. Phase out your human odor and start experiencing results like this. Scent control products that dry out your skin and hair are more than just a nuisance. They cause excess dander that negatively impact your hunt. Thousands of lost human skin cells contaminate your trails and setups, leaving behind a message of danger. The Phase System is designed to control your dander. These certified salon quality products keep your hair and body hydrated and nourished. Have you ever wondered what chemicals you are being sold to kill or destroy scent? The FDA recently banned triclosan a common antibacterial agent for use in some of the most popular scent control products on the market. Phase is one of the most safe and effective scent control systems and its environmentally friendly formula was designed for use on sensitive skin. The Phase Z technology is not designed to kill anything. Instead, it permanently entraps odor molecules on contact. Are enzymes limiting your hunting success due to a limited shelf life? Freezing temperatures render most enzyme products useless and extreme heat damages and diminishes the effectiveness of enzymes, meaning last year's clearance items might already be spoiled. The new Phase Body Odor System has been tested and it's proven to maintain its integrity and effectiveness in all weather conditions and has a shelf life of more than 10 years. Top industry professionals choose the Phase Body Odor System for a reason. It works. Phase out your body odor in three simple steps. Phase 1 body treatment includes body wash, shampoo, conditioner, and body lotion. Phase 1 works to cleanse your body, condition your skin, and control your dander. Phase 2 garment treatment includes laundry detergent that adds scent-capturing Z technology to any of your outdoor garments. Phase 3 field treatment is your last line of defense. Field foam captures odor molecules from perspiration that may occur in transit. Less than 5,000 phase body odor systems will be available on a first-come, first-served introductory offer. With nearly 17 million hunters in the U.S. alone, these systems will not last. Other salon-quality products and scent control suits would cost you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to buy. But for a limited time, you can experience the advantages of the new Phase Body Odor System at a special introductory price. This five-piece system retails for over $50, but can be yours today for only $39.99. That's a 20% introductory discount. These first 5,000 systems will also include a free Deer Society vehicle decal and field staff discounts on all of the new Deer Society lifestyle apparel. Get your Phase Body Odor System today at illusionsystems.com. Don't wait until they're gone. Experience the new phase body odor system today. Order now.